afternoon. I'm Redemantus Batnag, and I'm going to talk about doodling. I'm from Manila, Philippines, also a hot place. I work on the support team of EngineYard, and we provide platform as a service for Ruby, PHP, and Dockerized applications. You can find me as Redemantus on GitHub, Twitter, and Google. So, doodling. As programmers, we spend most of our time with text. And so, we also communicate using text. But it's 2015, we can do better. You might think this is not for you because you cannot draw. I have good news for you. You can use emojis. <laughs> Sometimes the graphic you want isn't available as an emoji. Just draw it anyway. And keep in mind that visual thinking is not art. Uh, it does not require art. Simple drawings will do. For example, this is a nice drawing of a cloud, but also complicated. This will do just as well. So by using combination of simple lines, you can communicate various concepts like cute, fast, and even software architecture. So just draw anyway, even if you think you can't. But it's still hard to start with a blank page. So I recommend this framework from Dan Rome, the Vivid Grammar Graph. You can break down many topics into who, what, how much, where, when, how, and how many, and why. The framework is a guide on which visual tool to use for each piece of information. I'll walk you through a complete example. This is the Engine Yard deployment guide. It's pure text. First, Let's try, let's apply the framework. We start by creating portraits. We highlight the nouns. And we give them better names. And then we create portraits for them. More portraits. We have our portraits. Uh, we're going to skip the charts because we're not talking about numbers in deployment. And we create the map. So maps. A map lets you show how each of the elements relate to each other, like this thing is inside that, this is running on top of that, stuff like that. Like this, uh, on each instance, the contents of blah, blah, blah are copied to, so there, you show the what's inside what relationship using a map. So those are maps. And next, we create a timeline. So the whole document is this one. It's step one, step two, step three, step four. So we create a time timeline by drawing this. And then we use that to show the reader on which part of the process he's in. So let's apply all of that into, into the document, one section at a time, and we're done. So let's put it all together. This is the whole document again. And these are the finished documents. Let's go through each page one by one. So uh, here we used our portraits and we created a map and the original text is over there on the right. So next step, next step. If you look at the top, there's the on which part of the time, timeline you're in and we're using maps and our portraits. Next step, next step, next step, next step. I won't bore you with the details. Next step. And here's our starting document again, pure text. And here's our finished document. Great success. Okay. So if you want to learn more, you can check out the book where I lifted the framework. That's uh, Dan Rome, blah, 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 what to do when works don't work. And that's it. Thank you. <laughs>